Hi there, namaste, and welcome back to another spiritualistic pick a card reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Archangel Metatron. Please take a deep breath, drawing the energy up your spine, creating a clear and open channel. And as you exhale, allow yourself to come into clear knowing which group or groups have your message in it for you today. We have group number one on the left with feet on the earth. Group number two in the center with precise as metal. And group number three on the right with karmic lessons. As always, the timestamps to your reading are listed below in the description box, as well as information about personal services, sessions, readings, Reiki, and all of the books, decks, and journals that I have created. So thank you so very much for tuning in today. If you're interested in more content, you can find the links to that in the description box as well. And I will see you at your reading. Namaste. Hi there, group one. Namaste and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Archangel Metatron. And you selected the first group with the Feet on the Earth card. Okay. The first thing that I'm being shown is a lotus flower opening. Metatron would like to let you know that you are right about your current blossoming when it comes to all things relating to material earth. There is a grid, a template that you have been working on for a very long time now, and you have just received that missing piece, that last piece. This is less of something that's been missing, but more so of something that needed space, it needed to blossom. This is something that has your connection with the divine intertwined in it in some way, shape, or form. Metatron is aware that at this point in time, you are exploring different identities of self, different ways of moving about and within the world around you, and this is encouraged at this time. You'll feel as though you have a bit of an energy around you that is guiding you, helping you, protecting you at this time, and this is because at this moment, you are meant to trust that you are in the right place at the right time, doing, thinking, feeling, experiencing, knowing the right things. This may be a bit abjunct to the world that is around you. And this is because you are here to create a ripple in the world, not to be affected by the ripples from the world. As you are exploring this, trust that when your feet touch the ground, trees grow from it. When your hands touch something, that thing is healed. When your words bless ears, those ears open up the imagination, the possibility, the realm of intellect and experience. Your wisdom is shining through very strongly at this time. However, wisdom feels less concrete than knowledge, and intellectualizing and wisdom are not one and the same. Because you are aware of the fact that you are doing what you're meant to do and you move through love and grace and autonomy, you are being blessed and supported and loved by the environment around you at this time. Metatron would like for you to know that it is safe to anchor your grid wherever you're at. And they would also like for you to know that during this point in time, keep looking up whatever that means for you. Pay extra attention to your vocal cords, your lips, your throat, your teeth, throat chakra, but in its physical manifestation at this time. It's going to be pertinent for you to allow yourself to accept and move through these changes that are occurring within you and will then affect the way that you move. However, remember that you are meant to be the ripple, not be affected by the ripple. At the same time, you are aware of your relation to the world around you and you will notice that this does not change. Use this as your guidelines moving forward as you do notice changes to the way that you move about in the world. Now let's get into your tarot. I felt called to use Vayu Mudra. This mudra of course has other names to channel today. This opens up the air element for you. It helps with concise and clear communication. Vayu is air in Sanskrit, which is why I call it Vayu Mudra. That's how I learned it. Um, so let's... Let's take a look at channel messages, please, to from Archangel Metatron. Messages to group number one from Archangel Metatron. For 
First, I heard your patience sets you apart from the rest, and that is why you're able to experience and build differently. Although for you, you may feel as though sometimes you have to release a bit more than others, or sometimes you might feel a bit left behind, or you might feel a little bit like you are perhaps overlooked or sometimes released or thought of last. Remember, the last are first, the first are last, the meek shall inherit the earth. We have the page of swords. The Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords, wow, a lot of swords. <laughs> we have the Strength card, beautiful. I'm wearing my Strength card ring today also. We have the Page of Cups and the Fool. Yes, Metatron would like to commend you, group number one, on your strength along your journey in the ways that are seen and both unseen, the ways that are felt and unfelt, in the ways that you are well aware of, and even in ways that you are not, which may or may not surprise you because you are just used to it. There seem to be certain energies of messages, offers, opportunities, fun, play, learning, and also a bit of expansion that is coming your way. There seems to be a bit of a truth of the heart that you are awakening to, not one that you have not experienced before, rather one that you are reapproaching again in a cyclical matter. As these energies ground, you are being called to remember again with the Queen of Swords and the strength, the difference between knowledge and wisdom. And with this, allow yourself to focus on the framework that you have, because knowledge can come from wisdom, but it doesn't have to. Wisdom can come from knowledge, but it doesn't have to. Your, your experience of the connection between the two and your experience is significant to the way that you are meant to move forward in this world. So take a minute and pause and ask yourself, is this wisdom or is this knowledge? There is no wrong answer, but you will know what it means for you because this will help you to source not only your information, but also the direction in which you can use this information or this wisdom in order to help to, I'm hearing befriend, assist, help, lead, guide, honor others. Metatron would like for you to honor your faith first and foremost above all right now. There's an energy here of you making sure that your crown chakra is open as you move through the world before any other chakra at this point in time. Your energies, your chakras, they are aligned, they are balanced. However, there is an emphasis here on making sure that you focus on the crown chakra first right now. Metatron would like to let you know that well, you have certain truths that are guiding you through life right now, you're going to notice that once you have shed these, you will see the reason why you were given this truth. This is something that you have felt, again, connected to this Five of Cups energy here that's hidden at the back of the deck. There is something here that is connected to feeling lost, perhaps feeling overlooked, feeling like you have to let things go, feeling like you don't get to have a say or perhaps feeling as though everyone else gets to something and you do not. With this being the case, Metatron would like for you to know that there are very huge changes that are occurring for you right now. If you would like to see these more clearly from a vibrational standpoint rather than a situational standpoint, tap in with your etheric template. This is the fifth layer of your aura as well. Metatron would like to remind you that you are not meant to grow your wings, for your wings are already grown. You are not meant to open your wings, for your wings are already open. You are meant to use your wings, and they do not need to hold others. They can, but that is not their primary purpose. Allow yourself to experience freedom in all of the ways that go along with having an open crown chakra, having a clear channel, having open wings, having wisdom and knowledge, and allow yourself to experience a blossoming from the heart as this occurs, you will come to realize why you've had the truths that you've had for so long without any using proof in the pudding, so to speak. This is the next thing that is entering into your life as these energies ground and you anchor your vibration into this earth as you see your light into this earth, you're going to see the ripple effects that you have been having and you will soon be met with ripples that are in one way or another affected by your own in one way or another are bouncing back off of your own, but have been also purified and clarified in a way where they're able to honor and serve you in the ways that you have been seeking. 
Metatron is looking at you as a bit of a, hmm, I'm hearing the words like prophet and mystic. I'm also hearing the words builder and worker, doer. So there's a very feminine, feminine energy and a very masculine, masculine energy. And there's this blossoming of the heart, which is a beautiful balance of energies. Metatron would like to let you know that you will no longer be required to see. You will no longer be required to build. You will then get to see. You will then get to build. However, an energy of necessity is soon leaving your life. And this will be one that may surprise you when you try to hold on to it. Not out of want for the energy, but out of familiarity. So trust that your feet are on the earth and that the earth is your mother. The earth will protect you. The earth is abundant and will provide for you. And also trust that the same goes with spirit. Tap in with your crown chakra first. Metatron would like for you to continue to have your wings spread and flap them when you feel like it. Fly when you feel like it. Put them away when you feel like it and hold others with them when you feel like it. Create gusts of wind and change the weather for fun when you feel like it. Allow yourself to honor this, I'm hearing, no bullshit era of your life. Being one where your strength is what constitutes your freedom. Your strength is what constitutes your information era. Your strength is what constitutes your fun, your free, your spiritual, your ethereal era. Not that this is a new energy for you, but that this is a new manifestation of this energy for you. Allow yourself again to continue focusing on the thousand petal lotus of the crown of your head. Allow yourself to make sure to spend time on your own self-care rituals, mind, body, and spirit. And above all, trust that all things that have seemed stagnant up until this point, most of them anyway, are about to move very quickly. With this being the case, see how strong you've needed to be in order to get to this point and utilize that strength to reap the benefits of all of the beautiful internal and external work you've been doing. Metatron would like for you to know that there's a little birdie keeping their eye on you. There's a little birdie sending you messages in the night through your dreams. And there is also this energy of divine divine intention, divine protection. And I, I'm hearing the word like badassery, like I, that word came out twice in your readings and that doesn't usually come out in these readings. Um, I'm hearing like divine badassery. <laughs> so allow yourself to honor the fact that you are here to be here, no more and no less. You are not here to change or to fix or to build. You are not here to see or to profit, profit or to anything other than to experience. And while there is a journey that you walk, everyone is not so lucky. And while you are aware that you are not meant to do anything other than be, and that the narrative conflicting to that is what one gets to release if they so choose, be aware of the fact that once again, when your feet touch the ground, the earth will bloom. When your hands touch something, the energy will heal and shift. You have a larger effect on the world around you than you currently think. So do not get lost in the respond, the responsive or reaction energy to that. You're beautiful, you are divine. And above all, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. This wanted to come out again because there's a reminder here that once again, hmm, the meek shall inherit the earth. And this is not about physicality. It doesn't not have to be about physicality. This is about reminding yourself that you do not have to seek anything, anyone, any place, any energy outside of yourself or even inside of yourself because anything that you would seek already exists for you. This is why you will feel a hard time releasing from doing, from seeing, and that doesn't mean you don't get to. It simply means you no longer have to. Okay, group number one, that is your channeled message from Archangel Metatron. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. 
And as always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful magical realm. It would help me out a lot if you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It helps me keep doing what I love and helps others find the messages that are meant for them in due time. If you're interested in a personal reading or connecting with me further, all of that info is in the description box below. I'm sending you all my love, light, and gratitude, and I hope to see you next time. Namaste. Hi there, group two. Namaste, and welcome to your channeled message from Archangel Metatron. You selected the second group with the precisest metal card. The first message that wants to come out for you today, group number two, is your ability to perceive the things going on around you are very precise at this point in time. There seems to be a cycle of energies that you are awakening to. For some of you, you are putting together a new grid, building block by building block. This is not one that you are finding and exploring, rather this is one that you are building piece by piece intentionally. There seems to be an energy here where you need no longer to work with a grid. So when you choose to create one, when you choose to build one, Metatron would like to remind you that you can use his cube, the Metatron's cube, as a facet, as a tool in order to find the pieces or to shape the pieces in a way that fit together. Show me someone, just as an example, creating a puzzle, but first beginning to make the art and then taking a knife and deciding the the shape of the pieces to make sure that each individual piece is shaped correctly. This is where you are being asked or guided, if it resonates with you, to use the Metatron's cube as a guide. This is not the grid that you are using, but this is the framework of a grid that you can use while building your own, seeding your own vibrations precisely into this energy. Metatron would like to remind you that you are such a powerful creator, not just of the world around you, but of eons of galaxies of universes and there seem to be some energies that are not connected to Archangel Metatron that would like to tap in with you. Metatron would like to let you know that this is supported, this endeavor is supported and that it's going to be important for you and your journey to continue to tap in in these ways, to continue to allow yourself to explore and grow. This is who you are and what you do, group number two, but there is this energy of precision They're showing me sharpening a knife, but in a very, in a very beautiful way. Metatron would like for you to know that you are not just a knife sharpener, but you are actually the sharpest knife of them all. The reason that this is coming up in this way is because you are meant to preserve and maintain your sovereignty at this time. Metatron would like for you to know that all things around you are good, all things around you are intentional, all things around you are loving and serving of and to and for and with you. With that being said, your internal exploration has a chapter that is desiring to open up. So as this occurs within and for you, tap in with the things that you feel that are standing out to you at this point in time. Anything that stands out that you feel calling to you specifically, allow yourself to take dedicated time because what you are picking up on is precise and it will not go anywhere. You will go to it and then you will be able to utilize this, this um, experience in order to have a clearer vision and be able to have a not just precise but personalized idea of the energies that you would like to seed into this grid. There is a very strong creation energy that is coming through here, and this is not just about finding a higher vibration and seeding it down. This is about finding a multitude of equally high vibrations. This is about finding finding a, a space, finding a void, and then going inside and finding red and orange and yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet and placing them each in their own sovereign space, creating and finding the circles and the triangles and the lines. Not because there isn't a framework, because there is, for example, the flower of life, the seed of life. But what are the energies that these are weaving together? You're becoming a weaver of your reality, not that you haven't been, 
but you are cracking into a new level of creation, not just manifestation, but of creation as a being. There are certain energies of yours that you tap in with that you have no place to express, no place to share, or you have not been able to find a resonant energy with this. Similarly, there is something you're aware of that is currently calling out to you. Metatron would like to remind you that these two things are not as connected as you might be hoping, but they will be conducive to your feeling of comfort and not safety, but hmm, feeling nourished and nurtured by these two energies. For example, the thing that is calling to you will be one that allows you to feel something halfway through the journey that you would have met on the other side of the path. They're showing me an example of someone um, heading along a path, not bringing anything along with them because they don't know how long it will be. Thinking it might take half a day or one day at most, but the path ends up taking three days, five days, 10 days. And so about two days in, about a halfway along the path, then you are met with the materials that you need not the ones that you will have at the end of the day, but the ones that you need in order to keep you sustained, in order to keep you going. So utilize this calling in this perspective. This is not the only perspective that you can <laughs> see this calling as. However, Metatron would like to let you know that what is calling to you is a source of sustenance for you at this point in time. And where you are going, the things that you feel that you are aware of your precision, the, the place where you get your precision, the place where you draw your creative energy, and the thing that is calling for you, you are aware are not one and the same. However, folding them upon one another is a beautiful way for you to experience these energies, but it is now time that they unfold. It is now time that you open up this. And as you see this, you will find the realm or the energies or the experience that is precisely made for you and you alone individually in order for you to be able to create the personalized grid the personalized frequency that you are meant to create you're meant to create your own rainbow out of your own energies out of your own experience and your own creativity as you have in the past and you will in the future but this will be a turning point in your life pertaining to the way that you utilize alchemy now and forever Continue focusing on yourself. Continue looking within yourself and do not be as hard on yourself as you have been recently. There's absolutely no need for this and you are built for, you are built for this, for where you have been and where you are going. There is nothing about you that needs to be reframed or rewired because you are in fact exactly the way that you are supposed to be and everything is. Allow yourself to identify the ways that you are feeling, the things that you are experiencing, when it comes to this expression, expansion, and ascension of energies. While this is data for you, this is also not an end-all be-all truth. Energy is always moving and shaping and shifting. However, there's something that is calling for you, and you will see why when you arrive. This is not something that requires a certain energy, a certain time, a certain place. Although, in the past, it may not have always felt like this. So allow yourself to honor exactly things as they are exactly yourself, as you are exactly everything, every feeling, every experience, every vision, every prophecy, every premonition as it is. Every single thing within and around you is exactly the way that it's meant to be. You are the catalyst. And with this, Metatron would like to remind you that you get to create your own geometrical structures and this is why the puzzle pieces were already shown to you this is why the puzzle pieces the shapes were already given to you you are given the mold however the thing that you choose to mold is yours to create this might have been the missing piece or this might have been the thing where you felt like you needed to find the right answer but the answer is something that you create because the intention was for you to create. This is the whole reason why you are here, because everything already is. So anything that you wish to experience and create, you can experience and create. 
Does it sound easier than it is? Perhaps. But if this is your narrative right now, remember that it will be precise. And if you grow out of this, this narrative, this will also be precise. Metatron would like for you to know that it's important right now that you continue to do self-reflection and that you continue to allow your, your body to move specifically at this point in time. Let yourself move a bit differently through your body, perhaps the types of exercises, the types of meditation, the types of things that you do. If you usually walk around your block, take a different direction. If you usually do Pilates, try yoga, things like this. Because at this point in time, you are meant to explore and experience fun. You're meant to almost realize new colors that have not yet been placed in this realm. And while this might seem like a big responsibility, this is not what this is. This is rather you finding one thing, something that is different, and you feeling that personalized energy, that vibe that is in between the two of them. And that is not your perfect answer either. Metatron would like for you to know that everything is the way that it's supposed to be. And that right now, you are meant to utilize transitional energies to your benefit. This is why they are here. And again, there's not anything for you to think, to know, to do that is not necessarily already what you are doing, what you are thinking, what you are knowing, what you are being. Allow yourself to trust in every single thing being perfect the way that it is, because it is. And remember that you, you are precise as metal. So when met with water, water will move, but the metal might not. Keep in mind that right now you are embodying metal element. And so you can use this alchemical vision of your reality right now to see the relationship that you have with the things, places, energies, experiences around you at this time. You are how and where and who you are meant to be, and allow yourself to create your own Metatronic grid, not just ours. Allow yourself to use the shape of the puzzle in order to create your own. Let's get into your tarot group number two. Okay, so messages to group number two from Archangel Metatron. Messages to group number two from Archangel Metatron. We have Temperance coming out, beautiful. Okay. I'm hearing prepare, prepare the way, prepare the way for what you could have used in order to get to this point. That will be a more significant statement for you in the near future. Connect with your heart space and as you feel certain energies expanding, once you go to or experience or feel what you're currently being called towards then this will make more sense you likely have clarity now on this but prepare the way that you didn't have prepare the way that you wish you had prepare the way that could have been individualized for you if one had personalized it for you for you not by you okay this is something that you can do in order to help create this grid of your own. You can create anything that you like and it does not have to follow this guideline or any other guideline at all. However, there is a sacredness and a sanctity to you as an individual. Your sense of freedom, your sense of isolation, temperance and hermit, it's giving the energy, and this doesn't necessarily have to be the case um, since this is general, but it's giving the energy of someone who meditates a lot or someone who spends a lot of time alone or someone who is a master of their craft and so because of this there is this very um, almost niche hyper individualized energy um a niche was the wrong word but there's this very there's this very true and pure and undistorted energy that is wanting to come out of you and because of this there is this knowing that what you have to offer will help others with something that they're not able to find because of the distortion around this energy again to create something or to honor something or to express something in the way that you could have used okay let's see messages please to group number two from archangel Metatron. the wheel almost came out but it didn't come out on its own so okay we have the empress okay 
we have a bit of timeline work going on here. You're being called at this time to alchemize the future and the past. Um, and it's going in this order because they're showing me specifically you looking at yourself in the present moment and looking first at the future and then at the past and allowing them to um, change spots with one another, um, almost like energy swapping as a form of alchemy in order to literally alchemize and bring them together in a way of integration. So this is interesting. I've never channeled this before, but it's coming out from Metatron for you, group two, to put your like future energies um, in like in the place on your grid or in your aura or in your experience, like meditate and put the future where the past is and put the past where the future is, okay? And the feelings that might come up around that, the energies that you might have come up around that, I don't want my past to be my future. It won't be. However, allowing that those things to change shape will allow you to release energies from your past and will allow you to almost release karmas for your future that might be related to your past, but you don't any longer need to walk on. It's just the energetic imprint that's clearing. Okay, this is the clearing and cleansing of a grid so that you can open up into expansion. And if this feels a little bit um, murky for you, or if it feels a little bit like uncomfortable or a little bit um, like not in the right place to be doing that, it's because it's what it is. It would be like attuning all of your chakras to the crown chakra or tuning all of your chakras to the root chakra, right? That is not the end-all be-all. However, it is an alchemizational technique to help you grow and flourish, okay? So you're showing me this actually being like a sphere, a full circle. So Metatron is advising for you if it resonates with you and if it's specifically, if specifically you're like averted to it, then this is something to try. Um, this is just the message that's coming out and it doesn't have to be right now. It is when you're more comfortable with it, but to like almost carry the future energy from the from the left, they're showing me the shoulder, um, forward and around to the right clockwise. And the same with the past, to pull it from the right shoulder, or in the future, sorry, it's on the right, um, back and around clockwise to where the left shoulder is. So to kind of have the sphere of energy so that they swap spots, and then this will alchemize, and then they will rotate again also clockwise back into place. So think of it just like a, a sphere of energy, like the um, the field that is the heart chakra, right? Giving and receiving. So tapping in with that energy and tapping it a little bit in more with the idea of time, the framework in the fourth dimension, the time-space continuum. This will create space. This will help you alchemize things in time. And it will also help you to clear past timelines so that they are not murkying up your vision of the future and will draw in more optimism and also a little bit more groundedness into your ability to carry out specifically what was mentioned to you before about creating something that you should have, would have, could have used or needed. Now, this is not because you are meant to um, do something for others. This is, however, because you are able to connect with something that does not yet exist. This is why you are the one that was given this gift. This is why you are um, forging a path, if you will, okay? We do have the Eight of Pentacles here indicating that there will be some sort of building, also some sort of hard work, but also mostly abundance and um, fruits of your labor. Okay, so all of these beautiful energy intertwining. Messages with group number two from Archangel Metatron. Okay, yes, this will be, Metatron wants you to know, yes, this will be a slow build. This will be a long process. This won't be something necessarily that um, does not use time to your advantage. So allow yourself to, from a higher perspective from this, alchemize using the time. And from a 3D and 4D perspective, allow yourself to allow it to take as much time as it might need, okay? Um, energetically, this will happen very quickly, very easily, very effortlessly. However, there is a um, reverberation, almost a... Um, the energy in the spiritual realm is moving very, very quickly, and the energy in the grounded realm is moving a little bit slower, so you might feel that um, a bit of a time warp almost. So allow yourself to allow it to take as much time as it may need in the physical realm. Um, have patience with the process. However, energetically, this will happen very quickly. And so because of this, allow yourself to kind of open up during the process, okay? So do not, um, if those energies feel different in time, right? Sometimes we move really quickly in the physical, which allows for almost a, um, sanctity in the spiritual and sometimes it's the other way around so right now at this point in time instead of one or the other or them walking both this is an opportunity for you to experience um like a tornado effect almost in slow motion okay but it's a beautiful tornado and it's not really a tornado it may feel like this because of this alchemization of time 
um, perception. This is about time perception, not timelines, okay. And we have the death card, yes. We have the phoenix energy coming out for you, which is really significant. We have 14, okay, one and four, finding your place in the world, allowing yourself to experience self-love. Temperance is, of course, Sagittarian. We have number nine coming out as well. Um, Hermit is Virgo, which is Mercury. We have number three. We have three coming out twice, 33, master numbers, 11 coming out. This is realization. This is mastery. This is also, however, an opportunity of you to nurture and nourish yourself, not just your inner child, not just you today, but all of the versions of you that are existing because every single bit and piece of the universe is you. And so treating them the way that you, not just treat others the way you would want to be treated because we're already doing this anyway, this is already known. This is something about reciprocity, something about allowing yourself to not only give, but also receive, not only to see, but also experience not only know, but also feel. And with this, allow this to be something that transforms you over time. And with this, time is your friend. It is not your enemy. It is not your constraint. It is your liberator because you do not exist within this framework. You exist outside of it and you do experience it. However, that is not the only experience that you have. So Metaton would like to remind you, group number two, that you are coming home to yourself in a way that is deeper than what this means. Allow yourself to play around with these energies. Um, they're showing me make that, that spiral, make that system, allow it to go clockwise and then allow it to go counterclockwise and then clockwise again and counterclockwise again. Almost like a, a rinsing, like a rinse cycle, okay? Of this energy of perhaps the heart chakra of your personal grid of your timeline experience. Okay, this is also the astral body as well. If you feel like you've been having a lot of crazy dreams or you, your um, your clear abilities, your empathy has been going a little bit haywire lately, um, this is a beautiful experience, but also putting this um, like rinse cycle through your astral body is also what this is alluding to. Okay, but you really wanna focus on your experience, your perception, your relationship to time at this point in time. Allow yourself to know that what you're picking up on is exactly precise. And because of this, you are meant to create something new. You are meant to allow yourself to explore and experience different feelings than the ones that you are currently at. This is an opportunity for you to pick up on information and then do with that what you will, not just with the information, but about the information that you're picking up. Allowing yourself to take one step further in creating the reality around you from an alchemical perspective. And this will be something, again, that you will be able to teach something that you wish was taught to you instead of you needing to figure it out. This is something where you are building a path that hasn't been built before, but without there being pressure attached to that, this energy specifically is why you're being called to take a look at your approach with time. This will be something that, they're just showing me the phoenix raises you from the ashes, but it also allows you to feel like you are receiving what you need and that others are as well. And with this, all is well, all is done, all is perfect. And this will be something that allows you to feel like you can relax into your own personal mastery, into your own personal creation, into your own next chapter, one of relaxation, one of rejuvenation, one of creation, one of, um, one of not your necessity, not one of your, um, not creation, the Empress, they're showing me her She's a mother, right? She's birthing an energy and birth is a very painful process. So this is one where this is enjoying the process. This is the, the Phoenix, like the Empress, the process of birth through Phoenix energy. That is, um, it is quick and it is mighty. And it is because it is quick. It is, I don't want to say painless because it's not, but it is one that honors the, um, honors the strength of the body, honors the strength of the soul, honors the strength of the vessel and every single thing of it and says, so mode it be, all is well, and it is done. So it is, it is this, it is a sanctity, it is a security, it is this um, sovereignty, it is this clarity and surety, it is precise as metal. Okay, so group number two, that is your channeled message from Archangel Metatron. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you today. And as always, I'm sending you all my love, light, and gratitude. If you're interested in a personal reading or connecting with me further in any way, um, you can find all of, the all of the information for that below in the description box. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful magical realm. 
And I would love to ask you if you wouldn't mind liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to this video and my channel. It helps me continue doing what I love, which is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and it also helps others to find the messages that are meant for them when they're ready to see them. So thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you next time. Namaste. Hi there, group three. Namaste and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from Archangel Metatron and you selected the third group with the Karmic Lessons card. The first message that I'm getting for you is that you have, <laughs> I mean, you have the audacity, you also have the choice, you have the love in your heart and the compassion in order to help Earth's collective with their karmic lessons, in order to help others with things that you've walked through, things that you see, things that you have passed through, or alternatively, things that you've incarnated without being required to experience. Therefore, you have a clear, precedented, and unbiased vision about the way that things can go if all paths are clear, if all karma is cleared, if all lessons have been learned on the other side. There's this energy of zero point that's coming through for you. Metatron would like for you to be aware that apart from learning that you are not walking through lessons any longer, you do not have any lessons to walk through any longer. Some of you have incarnated without any earthly karma and have therefore selected perhaps a difficult ancestral line, a different life path, or seemingly just feel a bit different. Some of you were born without karmas of any kind, and because of this, you are able to walk a free and clear path that is very, very different than those around you. Alternatively, there are others of you here who did incarnate with karma but have already finished clearing it, and you have not accumulated anything other than positivity and love, light, zero point, clarity in your current position moving forward as well. Because of this, Metatron would like to draw to your attention the fact that things are not always what they seem. And when it comes to a sense of community, it is not your responsibility in order to carry the burdens that others are struggling with simply because you have one open hand or simply because you can carry them or simply because you see the path. Sometimes the path for you might be clear. You might see it straight ahead and you might be walking the same path as someone. Now, to better explain this, I'll share the vision that is being shared with me from Metatron. They're showing me two people walking down a road. This, it's the same road, it's a dirt path, and one person saying, I don't know, I don't know, and they're wondering if the path goes forward, if it goes to the left, if it goes to the right, because they cannot see in front of them. So every step is guesswork, but you are able to see clearly the path because you have your eyes open, you are able to see that it simply goes straight ahead. So instead of you linking arms with this person or trying to convince them that the road is straight ahead, you are simply walking and if they choose to struggle through it, they struggle through it. If they choose to follow you, they follow you. If they choose to stop and turn around and meander, that is up to them. You are continuing to walk your path with sovereignty. There's this energy of detachment and having enough compassion for others to detach from them with compassion, enough compassion not to allow it to be something where you would feel bad if you did not help. Rather, in order to have enough compassion for yourself and them to trust that just as you figured it out, others will too. Just as others have figured it out, the situation or individual can too. There is an energy here where you are being called to not only trust the process, but to communicate your truth, even in the situations where it might be feeling as though it is a conflicting energy. For example, the path goes straight ahead. Well, we can't really say that to be true, but you see it, so you can say that to be true. There are energies like this that are drawing their awareness to you at this point in time. And this is where you're being called to allow yourself to expand your entire spiritual eye. The spiritual eye is not just the two eyes that you experience or the two with your pineal gland, your third eye. And it is not simply the one eye that comes from all three of these expanding. Your spiritual eye can expand to encompass your entire body, your entire vessel, your entire spirit, your entire essence. And for most of you, this is not a secret. You've already experienced this opening. However, some of you are experiencing what it feels like to blink with the spiritual eye. And do not be afraid and do not fret because blinking is a natural process. This helps you to retain moisture, meaning this helps you to experience emotions. It helps you to feel the wind on your back. It helps you to feel the ground beneath your feet. It helps you to feel the connectivity of yourself with others and emotions and life and the trees and everything. So while this is a beautiful experience, 
see this or feel this as a big blink of your spiritual eye and you are not closing as you know when you blink you can still see many of you when your eyes are closed you can still see what is in front of them because that is how strong your vision is metatron would like to let you know that you do not have to give an arm and a leg you do not have to stand on a pedestal and speak up louder you do not have to feel like you are in communion or in community with the group around you you do not have to do things that are not yours to do and you might know this you might work on this but metatron would like to remind you at this point in time specifically in your life that you see and that does not change for those around you and it is not your responsibility to see for those around you you simply see and that is all it is just as natural as having an arm or a leg just because you have an arm does not mean that you owe it to anyone else just because you have knowledge does not mean that you owe it to anyone else this is not something that is very difficult for you to comprehend however there are things around you that are easy to comprehend that for others might not be metatron would like to remind you at this point in time that you are meant to go where you feel led where you feel called no more and no less and so sometimes that means a man is left behind sometimes that means you are walking your own path in sovereignty and sometimes it does mean stopping to help a stranger along the road but go where you feel called no more no less and always honor the fact that you know what you see and honor it as the truth not an interpretation of the truth not your interpretation of the truth because your connection to divine universal truth, divine universal law, is not anything that is interpretable. It is not anything that is subjective. But because you walk this unique energy, because you walk this unique path, you will soon find others that resonate with this energy as well. And this will bring more ease, comfort, and stability into your life. Group number three, allow yourself to see everything as as gently as you would something that you take care of. A human, a child, a plant, an animal. And you allow the plant to grow on its own. Sure, you water it and you make sure that it's in the right sun, the right amount of sun, the right spot, all of these things. But the plant is in charge of its own growth. And so, with this being said, allow yourself to know that you know what you know. Know that you see what you see. And also, feel free to take a step back. With this, you'll find that more of the things that you feel called to do will feel a bit more expressive of you, a bit more like they honor and serve you. And Metatron would like for you to know that this is the part of your path that you've been missing or wanting or seeking. This has everything to do with expression of you and nothing to do with what helps others. You will find out the expression of you does and will and can help others. However, the shift of intention will be something that releases a burden off your shoulders that maybe you knew you were carrying, maybe you felt you had to carry, or maybe some of you didn't even know you were carrying. So let's get into your tarot. Okay. Messages to group number three from Archangel Metatron. Some of you need to be reminded that you can be incarnated at many places at once because time is happening simultaneously and we are all part of the same being whether it be you, me, Metatron, and hyper-individualism is not a bad thing on the journey, neither is hyper-expansion. However, unity consciousness is honoring the fact that we are all the same thing incarnated in different pieces. This is what allows you to have such clarity. However, the honoring of the individuality is also important as well. Okay. Some of you are currently incarnated in separate places at once, of course, from a unity perspective, of course this is true, but you may be surprised to find that from an individual perspective, this is true as well. Some people call these soul fragments, but you are meant to become aware right now that you are not, you are not broken, you are not fragmented. You might be refracted like light through a prism, but you are not fragmented. This is not true for all beings, depending on where they are on their soul's journey, but Metatron would like to make this difference for you specifically, this differentiation, okay? A lot of cards for you out today. King of Swords and Ace of Cups wanted to make themselves known. Um, I'm feeling called to pull them, so I'll keep them aside. Okay. So, 
there is something that you are that you have been you, okay there's a deep uh clearing cleansing that you've been working on perhaps path clearing or something along these lines and you've been working with your perspective of the present moment in a way that honors all of the places that you've been but also seeds love into your current reality and the realities that you choose to exist coexist in and yes you can exist in more than one reality at once um okay there's an energy here of timeline weaving timeline building um like customizing your own timeline rather than playing out pick and choose okay metatron would like to draw this to your attention some of you are learning that this exists and others of you have been doing this for a while and this is what they'd like to speak with you about okay metatron is letting you know that you you are balanced you you hit the nail on the head in several different areas you know exactly what you're doing there is not much alchemy or spiritual truth that um we as a channel could provide for you that you wouldn't go oh yes i know this so the message that wants to come through for you today is to continue to honor your truth and the reciprocity in your truth for example knowing that your truth is the truth but that is not the same for everyone there is a objective finite truth however the well, objective finite infinite truth I love how that works but the individual truth doesn't always align with the universal truth and because this is the case for you um, remember that this is reciprocal for you. However, this is not the case for everyone, i.e. the vision about the path that we were sharing earlier. Meaning that if you see the path, you continue to walk down it. You've walked down it many times, you see it, you've seen it before, you'll see it again, you know where to go. However, if you've done something a million times and there is an energy around you that is needing convincing that that is correct, that is an energy of lack of sovereignty, lack of trust, lack of seeing. Um, that is a karmic energy. That is something that is needing to get worked through because there is something that is being spun out or spun into. For you specifically, on your journey, on your path, allow yourself to simply walk away. They're showing me walking on water, okay? So allowing yourself to um, maintain and hold the specific density for you that works. And they're showing me density in water specifically, like there's oil and water, but there's also certain things, some things float, some things like linger within the water, some things sink. Okay, allow yourself to um, customize your density in ways that honor your sovereignty, honor your truth, do not allow you to shift your vibration, but do allow you to become lighter or heavier um, depending on your comfort, your situation, your path ahead. You are noticing that at this point in time, you're being called to build, but you're being called to build from emotion or from intuition or from both. This is a confirmation for that for you. And to trust that on the road ahead, you will be more pleasantly surprised than, well, you already know this, but you might be thinking otherwise, feeling otherwise. There's this energy of um, a question of, is what you are trying to manifest the thing that will come in? Or is what you are seeing exactly what will come in versus, are you manifesting something and you get a universal interpretation of it? Or are you... Um, walking down a path you have a vision for and that is so that you walk down the right path and end up at a um, similar place that has again universal interpretation and you are being called again to remember that you see this clearly okay you're going exactly where you see you're going you understand exactly what's going on okay to the detail you will end up surprising yourself if you'd like to take notes many of you already do you'll be able to look back and find that it gets more and more precise over time again this group has zero karma to play through to walk through to clear and this has been the case for a long time for most of you. But because of this, um, you might have a difficult time interacting with more 3D constructs because of the reason that oftentimes if you tell someone that you do not have karma or you are not cleansing karma or that you have finished clearing your karma or you are incarnated without it, those who do not see the light at the end of the tunnel will do everything that they can not to believe that that is true because that is not where they are. That is not their truth. However, one's truth and the truth can be in sync or they can be different and this is not your responsibility metatron would like to remind you that it is always appropriate to stand in the light it is always appropriate to shine your light and it is always appropriate for you to put one foot in front of the other and to follow your heart you know this but there's also an energy here of allowing yourself to literally be the center of your universe not because this is has anything to do with a solar plexus not because this has anything to do with egotism or anything like this but simply because you are aware that you have a divine tap into universal consciousness into divine consciousness and because of this you allow the universe to work through you without interpretation 
of your own, without interpretation of your environment, without interpretation of your surroundings. And so trust that everything that you say, every step that you walk, everything that you do, it is more divine than you are being given credit for. And this is not to say that you do not receive this. It is simply to say that you are meant to trust that you are in divine flow so much so that the divine is working through you and the divine works through everything and sometimes the divine is working on something but sometimes the divine simply expresses freely through you it is like working through um working through a technique working through a lesson taking a class or having an open canvas and knowing how to mix all of the colors already and knowing that you can skillfully create whatever it is that you wish to paint and having an infinite amount of time and resources and canvases to paint upon this freedom the universe feels through you this is the liberational energy of source of light so continue following your heart continue following your path and trust that at this point in time specifically you're being called to trust that in the future something that seems like a choice for you is something that has already been predetermined and you also know this as well however this may be something that in the physical reality, you have a difficult time, perhaps, putting together the vision of the way that this will build, the way that this will materialize, even though you can see it already. Because there's almost a question of how or why, and this is something that the universe would like you not to get confused about, not to get worried about, because when you ask things like how or why, this will cause, this will create karma, this creates density in the mind space, this creates density in the karmic space, this creates density in the astral space. And you're being called to remember that you've already cleared all these things out. So if you're getting spun around in a tornado, it might actually be a gust of wind that is falling off of a tornado that is near you. And so continue to walk around um, following the path that you see. And when you continue walking, you may notice that this dust cloud falls away. If you're not experiencing a dust cloud, then good, continue on before it shows up. Metatron would like for you to know that it is always going to be important for you to honor your in inner knowing because your inner truth aligns with the universal divine source truth. This is not the case everywhere as you have seen. However, it is. However, it is more like a convoluted, wound up energy. It's like a Rubik's cube that still has yet to be um, solved. However, group number three Metatron would like for you to know that your geometry is clear. Your framework is clear, your blueprint is clear, your energy is clear, your channel is clear, your ego is clear. And so because of this, you do move along in the world a bit differently. However, you also move a bit more freely. You also move a bit more clearly. You also have a bit more understanding. You also have a bit more potential about what it is that is possible for you, what you can do. So remember not to get confined by the limited beliefs and constrictions of others or by societies or by groups around you. Not that these are not source consciousness incarnate because they are, but they might still be an unsolved Rubik's cube. And so when you are aware of all of the ways to put together a Rubik's cube, when you are aware of every single trick in the book in order to solve that Rubik's cube, then you also know what it looks like when it's completed. Allow yourself not to spend your time teaching others how to solve their own when they're meant to figure it out. They're meant to experience co cognitive dissonance so that they can experience a rewiring and of their neuroplasticity, essentially, in a spiritual sense, in a physical sense, in all senses, in a karmic sense as well. Allow yourself to be fully lit up in every way, every day. And while your light will inherently remind others that they can shine that brightly as well, a reaction to that has nothing to do with you. The fact that you can do that is not your responsibility towards anything else. And once more, you are fully aware that you've already learned many of the things that are some of the greatest questions that many have of this world. It is not your responsibility to be a show pony. It's not your responsibility to be a whistleblower. It is not your responsibility to be a system fixer. However, it is your responsibility to follow your heart, be yourself and shine your light. And that may result in any of those things. However, only in ways that honor and serve you, only in ways that feel good for you, only in ways that tangibly make sense for you and clear karmic, karma-free source consciousness. Allow yourself to honor the fact that you are different. Allow yourself to honor the fact that you are done with a lot of the things that you see processing around you. 
and allow yourself to honor the fact that sometimes standing in your truth and looking back at versions of you in a universal sense that have not yet been here is beautiful not because you are meant to help other versions of you necessarily but because you existing does that you are meant to be a beacon of light of hope of faith and as you know hope doesn't always reach its hand through the veil and start fixing up things in your life for you this is what intuition is for so just as you are grateful that you have learned the things that you've learned and the ways that you've learned just as you are aware of karmic patterns and no longer experience them means that you by definition experience things differently move differently build differently feel differently think differently and you're also meant for something different looking forward into the future group number three metatron wants you to take it easier on yourself and also continue to look at the path ahead there's a lot of passion a lot of freedom a lot of liberation a lot of expression a lot of creativity on the road ahead for you you are about to experience a spontaneous awakening that will shatter the reality around you but you'll notice that where you are in consciousness where you are internally doesn't shift and change at all this will be a large ripple effect a big bang if you will that shakes the reality around you it will be beautiful it will provide not only you seeing that road ahead but it will make it so that every single thing that you see can be that road ahead not because you don't understand which one is the road but because you understand that for you now all is the road no karma no lessons no fine print metatron would like for you to trust this when you see it and do expect if you ex if and when you experience this you may feel a few physical symptoms they will not be too intense it's nothing to be afraid of or worry about however you might feel it in whatever ways you normally do some some get um like sniffles some get headaches some get a little tired some get a little cranky some get really really excited and they bounce off the walls <laughs> um so whatever your usual jam is um you might be feeling this as your physical reality recalibrates and so do some of the cells in your body a couple little things maybe a pimple right maybe a little extra exfoliation right um maybe organizing your daily routine just a smidge different organizing two things swapping places little things like this okay Group number three, that is your channeled message from Archangel Metatron. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful magical realm. If you like, comment, and subscribe this video and my channel, it would help me out a lot and help others find the messages meant for them. If you're interested in a personal reading, energy session, or um, any of my decks, books, connecting with me, things that I make, things like that, that will all be found in the description box below, as well as extra content if you're interested in exclusive channels that I put out as well. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all my love, light, and gratitude, and I hope to see you next time. Namaste.